Oregon. 386 miles to delivery. Uh, it's really light, it's just a box. It's machinery parts from Caterpillar, so it must be going to another cat machine. I don't know how much filming there will be going on because it's going to be night soon. And uh, my ETA to delivery is around 2 a.m. And that's my third load of the day. <laughs> so, I mean, while things are going good, we're going to keep on trucking, get it done. No worries, no problem. Got a fancy, fancy seat. Usually afraid it gets strapped in the back, but this box, I'm keeping it right here so I can keep an eye on it. Riding in style in the front seat the whole time. I'm going to tell that customer to say that your box is riding in style. Rode, rode here the whole time. It's already 8.30 p.m. 8.30 p.m. and I already haven't eaten anything all day yet. So, I'm thinking where I want to eat. Hope there's a Wendy's along the way. And Wendy's has some really good choices on the salads. Uh, various styles and stuff. So, I'm hoping that there will be a Wendy's somewhere. That way I can get me something to eat. Otherwise, if I don't get a Wendy's, then I don't know. I have no clue where else to go before that. It's long, along the way, there's really nothing. It's going to be late. Even if there is a little place, it's going to be closed. So, but, you know, if you don't eat for a day or two, then, you know, you can train yourself not to eat anymore. Maybe that's a good thing in its own. showed up to this location at like 155. It was due by three. I did hurry, you know, so I could get there quicker. Oh, here's a pilot, that's where I'm going. Very nice. Gotta be going to bed right here somewhere. Um so what happened was, it was supposed to be a direct delivery, and I called ahead of time even, like they asked me to. Called them up ahead of time. One of the guys said, call the other guy. I called the other guy. He said, um, what time are you going to be there? I told him what time. This is okay. I'll send somebody over there. So I said, great. I got there. Nobody's there. 20 minutes later, I tried to call both of those guys again. Nobody's answering. So I just went to bed. And then at 3.15, he calls me up and says, hey, I'm here. You called about, you know, this and that. <laughs> kind of a weird one, but, you know. <laughs> kind of a weird one in a way because they promised they would be there and then they don't answer their phones or anything and then only later they're you know calling me back up and saying hey 
Let's do it. We're here. So, to me, it's a little bit weird that way, but whatever. MMT now, that's all that matters. up skills in the middle of the night 3 30 in the morning yeah you know only the weirdos are out at night there's a lot of weirdos there's a lot of weirdos Woo. anyways guys I'm off to bed, back to bed anyways for me. Um, I might get another pickup in the morning, but that's another video. Well, morning, it's by 2 p.m., which is 170 miles from me, so whenever I wake up, I'm gonna be heading over there and picking it up, so besides that, good night to me. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. I'm just super tired. Morning to me, maybe afternoon for you or evening for you, but it's my morning. Um, I slept pretty good. I only woke up once at eight o'clock to my alarm. Then I set another one for nine, and it just like just rang. Um, I was back up at eight thirty. I didn't even fall asleep after eight, and already had time to fill up, wash windows get coffee, have breakfast, now I'm going to be drinking my coffee, and actually enjoying it. The view, the view is right here. I got a lake, Klamath Falls Lake, to my left. I don't know how they have such a big, huge body of water over here. I'm not even sure where it comes from, but it's a really good sized lake. And my drive looks like this. It's all smoky, hazy. As you can see, visibility is not too high. It was even worse, but sun's coming up slowly over all these mountains. For some reason, the sun comes up. For some reason, the sun comes up pretty late over here versus like in the, where we're at in Spokane. It's who knows where. It's not even bright. I'm not used to that. I'm used to it having, you know, coming out about five. The sun is out. I don't know what time this actual sunset is scheduled at or says it's supposed to come out, but it's. At 4 o'clock, you can already see outside in Washington, in Spokane. And then by 5 o'clock, it's already like, you know, it's sunny. So, here, I uh, know it's not like that. And the sun is who knows where still. Kind of weird to me. Not used to that. This doofus right here, you guys see this black car? He's got government plates on him. I just pulled out of that pilot and was driving. I didn't see the speed limit sign. Didn't see the speed limit sign. And he passed me in the turning pocket. In the middle, there was a, you know, a dividing lane where he could turn left. They could turn left. We can turn left as well. That smart pants right there he passed me in that lane in the turning lane i don't know where he was in a hurry to but i'm right behind him and like i said he's got government plates not very good government if you 
guys end up watching you, you can zoom in on that right there, that license plate. Figure out who it is and why he did this. I have 170 miles to my pickup in Eugene. Like I said, I'm I'm deadheading from Klamath Falls to Eugene for this for this pickup. I already had this load before. I had this load before we even got the the, the cardboard box load. So I think this load pays better than I thought it pays. Well, eventually for my for all my miles, yes, it does. I mean, the price is still the same, but I don't have that many deadhead miles anymore because I brought that other load to here. So the, the rate per mile is just extremely well right now. It doesn't happen often. I just get paid round trip miles because if it picks up out of nowhere and delivers somewhere out of to nowhere, it's a specialty load, then yes. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid for round trip miles out here. Seattle people can't even pay $150 for like 30 miles. So, that tells you what the rates are. 20, 30 mile runs, 50 mile runs, we can't even get them for 200 bucks. So driver, driver wants like $200. Company wants something. And they, you know, we can't buy them, we can't get them, not buy them, but, you know, we don't get an awarded on them, so. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. All I know is I just changed the oil, and I don't, I gotta figure out how many thousands of miles I already put on within the last four days. I wasn't home Monday. I was home Tuesday. Then Wednesday and now Thursday I'm not back. I'll be back like late tonight so I don't get home. And I don't plan to go anywhere because I want to go to the lake on Saturday. Take the kids out somewhere. So that's the plan. Living road life but still taking care of family, family needs is what you got to do. this ruining somebody's morning bright and early in the morning first thing yes he is it's kind of their job you know the mood ruiner is what I would call him anyways guys We'll talk about the smoke later. It's getting even worse. Look at this. Getting hazier and hazier the farther we go. So I wonder where the burning is at. Oh, and I think I know where the burning is at. Some of it anyways. Some of that burning, because it, it said something about uh, Highway 38 being closed somewhere. I'm on 58 right now. It said something about Highway 58 closed when I was coming here last night due to a wildfire. So I wonder if that national forest is burning in the area where I, like in the Bend area between Bend and Klamath Falls, somewhere over there. It, it burns out here every single year. Every single year they will burn it. They'll say it's a wildfire, but you know what? I don't believe it's always a wildfire. That's just my my understanding. I think they I think they burn it themselves. They start these fires. The government or who knows who. Somebody starts these fires on purpose. Wasting money, resources, things like that. And they say, oh, but some trees can't grow. Some trees can't put the seed out and grow a new tree until it until it burns fully. Well there you go. I guess it's meant to be burning for them. I haven't driven this road exactly uh, last year or this year yet, but you see all this? It's all burned down. It's not burned down this year. It's from last year from all the BLM fires. See what these BLM idiots did? 
burned down a national forest for no reason. I've already driven through maybe 20 miles of this. It just keeps on going. found an awesome, awesome, awesome lake. I've got to look on the map what the name of it is. See if I can open up Google Maps and see what the name of this lake is. Let's see. It's searching. It's searching. There's not. There's no internet here, but I can make phone calls. So my van's up there. I walk down the pathway. There's a little picnic area. Check out how clear this water is. This is just... It's just unbelievable. Look at this. Look how clear. And it goes clear for for a long time. I already flew the drone, you guys already saw it, but look, I'm stepping. Look at this. Step, step, step. Look inside the water. It's clear. There's no dirt. There's no nothing. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable spot. Look at that, there's still snow up in the mountains. Now this is a lake place I would like to have. It's on this lake. Wow. You can't get clearer water than this, this is incredible. I wish I would have all day here because I would spend it here, but I don't unfortunately. I've got to do that pickup. I've got a driver waiting for me to load him and take that load to Memphis. So, unfortunately, I do have to go. But man, I really don't want to. This is just too great. You don't find too many places like this. And trust me, I've been to a lot of places out in the middle of nowhere. You're not going to find water this clear. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay, gotta get going. See like a little picnic area here. Then I parked up here. Love it, love the spot. I'm gonna make a note on my maps. Next time I'm in this area, I gotta have some room time wise to park here. This is just too cool. There's a, there's a little better area with a wider walkway that people used to get up and down. Through the to the water, but wow.
guys. I'm still in shock from that lake. That's just... <laughs> It's shockingly beautiful. Shockingly beautiful. It's incredible. And then the, the forest here, you know. Wow. It's one of a kind. I tell you what, it's one of a kind. I go to a lot of cool places, but just so like secluded, so clear water. Um, wow. The views, the mountains. Yeah, not gonna get too many of these anywhere else. Love it. I absolutely love it. Look how, look how thick the forest is. I mean, it's just the smell here, the, how clean the air is, and everything. It's just, I, I don't know. It's hard to describe it on camera, guys. But seriously, it's it's just awesome. It's pure awesomeness. God's creation, man. Can't beat it, can't copy it, can't do, can't do anything. One of a kind, guys. One of a kind.
you guys see that? Some poor individual crashed right by the hospital. At least the main, the, the thing is, hopefully they got him on the stretchers real quick and got him inside past. Otherwise, I'm not sure. It's kind of weird, you know, that you crash right there. Maybe was driving really, really quickly, needed help or whatever. And then, you know, lost consciousness, ran into the tree. I'm not sure what happened. Kind of weird. You don't see too many crashes by the hospital. Or what am I saying? I don't work at the hospital. Maybe it happens all the time when people, people hurry, 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 and things happen. Or, you know, they lose consciousness, or, or you know, whatever the case may be. That's not sure. The first time I see that, it's kind of odd for me, but, you know. Alright, I need to turn, and I'm doing something. Bam! They have some weird, weird, weird on ramps here. Weird. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, you need to. I have 270 miles ish to the other driver. I still need to call him, have him send me an address <laughs> where he where exactly we're gonna meet at. But that's kind of how it's looking. About 5.30 is my ETA. I still need to stop by somewhere and grab, uh, get paperwork, print it out for this load because <coughs> there's never any paperwork. So I have to get paperwork first, then give it all to the other driver. So we'll see how it goes. Weather's good here. It's like it was just 68, now it's 72. I guess it's kind of up and down in the, in the low 70s here. But hey, it's way different than 98 from yesterday. Yesterday in Walla Walla was 98. And here, while I was loading things, it was 68. So 30 degree difference. Quite a bit of a difference if you think about it. But it's summertime. We've got to enjoy our summers. They're short here. still hazy even here guys even here it's hazy and this is Eugene I have a respect for those guys that carry a bike with them Did you guys see how he strapped it in with some bungee cords and that's it. That's the way to do it. If he's out loading somewhere or parked or whatever on his break, he can use a bicycle to get around, get some exercise in. We got high respects for those kind of guys. Good job. I even know people that drive a Sprinter that carry a bike with them. That's it guys, we reloaded that stuff onto the box truck. This driver is going to be heading out tomorrow in the morning towards delivery. He's going to be on time right on the delivery is all the way on Monday. So he's going to have three days for like 20, I don't know what it is, 2300 miles maybe, 2200 miles, whatever it is. Three days worth of driving, 750. 750 miles a day or something like that which is just great very doable for him I know he's a good driver because he's driven um, non-stop even from Vegas we don't turn right on south 348 don't give don't give him too many um, like don't give him too many direct loads but um, he's proven himself many times before that he can't do it and can handle it.
My ETA is midnight for home. 15 hours worth of driving today. For local, that's a lot of driving for being local. Just because our local is not really local here, that's what we end up with. Because we got empty miles there, empty miles there, empty miles back home, you know, all that, all that mileage adds up. But you know what? You can't complain. As long as it's paid for, that's all that matters. It's paid for. Beautiful weather here in Seattle area. I'm taking Highway 18 back home. That way I avoid all that 405 traffic and all that. All that Bellevue. All that good stuff. It seems like 405 traffic is always there no matter what time of the day or night. You try to go through it always there thank you guys for watching catch you guys on the next load take care